Hey everyone, it's Michael Goosebumps fan. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today is Friday. My workplace cut our hours down, so I have about four days a week that I work now. Still have my benefits because I'm working over 32 hours, but uh, they cut one of our days off for the week, so I'm able to do book hauls, <laughs> you know, today, and also possibly a review. Uh, I am going out of town for the weekend as well, so I probably will get another book read. Maybe. <laughs> Not really sure. Uh, I haven't really been in the reading mood. You know, that's why I haven't really been putting any upload videos, reviews, anything like that here on the channel. Um, especially with all these newer subscribers coming in, which, welcome guys, it's good to see you. It's good to see you in the comment sections now. It's good to see all these new people commenting all the time on even old videos. Um, I love hearing people talk. I love discussing with you guys. I haven't commented back to many people's comments recently. Uh, I was working on another YouTube channel of mine, kind of gotten bored with that. Uh, I was just doing movie reviews, stuff with horror movies and whatnot that I hadn't seen before. But I kind of wanted to just come back here and give you guys a heads up and, and say thank you for coming to the channel and everything. I cannot believe we are so close to 500 subscribers in almost a little over a year. I can't believe it. It's just amazing to me. It's impeccable how this channel, oddly enough, is growing and how Goosebumps still has so much popularity all these years later. But uh, even a little old guy like myself, I'm not, I'm not little, but my little old channel is what I mean, uh, has gotten some decent traction for whatever reason. I mean, it's not me. I don't know. Ain't the editing skills because there ain't no editing on this channel. But uh, anyway, today I have a book haul for you. Uh, but at first I wanted to thank you for watching the content, for commenting. I love seeing all these comments on the comment section. It took forever to get people to start commenting on the videos. But I love you guys. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you have a great weekend this weekend. And a happy Mother's Day to you mothers out there who may or may not be watching this video. Or if you have a mother, which if you're watching this, you probably do. Tell her that you love her if you can. Um, anyway, let's get into the book review video thing. Really, this week I got about seven Goosebumps books that came in the mail. One of them, <laughs> I'm so stupid, I've been trying to remember to bring to my house to show you guys as part of this collection. That's why I waited off to show this video to you. But uh, I'm dumb and I forgot. But I do have pretty much two of the same exact book. I want to just go ahead and tell you this now. Uh, that book that I'm referring to is Night of the Living Dummy 3. It's actually book number 40 of the classic series. It's the original green cover. I've never owned this copy before. I got two of these. One for my casual reading, because I always kind of do this. If it's a book that I love and Night of the Living Dummy 3 is a book that I absolutely love, I think it's probably possibly my favorite dummy book. It's fantastic. It's so, so good. Um, I recommend it so much. It's my favorite of all the TV episodes and everything. Such a good book. I bought two of these, one for my casual rereading experience during the summer, because I'm going to plan on reading this pretty much every summer the rest of my life, God willing. But also, I wanted one for my collection, because when I really love a book, I want to buy whatever version I possibly can of it. If it's the 2000s reissue, if it's the original cover, if it's the newest edition from the reissues, which this has a newer edition as well that I already own, then I want to buy it. I want to have it as part of my collection. And so this one's a little bit more kind of beat up. The other one was not. That, that one actually looked really good for the price I paid for it. Uh, somebody tricked me. Somebody <laughs> on eBay tricked me. I had to pay six dollars and sixty-six cents. Yes, six 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 to try to buy a Goosebumps book. That was not funny, guy. Um, <laughs> anyway, I have this. It's part of my collection now. I, I'm. I love this book. I'm telling you right now. I know a lot of people prefer Not a Living Dummy one and two. I do not. I'm not one of those people. I prefer this one, hands down. It is such a great book. It's one of my favorites of the classic series. Uh, it'll be interesting one day when I can do a ranking video on all 62 of those original books, or just every Goosebumps book in general, if I can keep my list going and make that at some point. At the pace I'm going right now, it's going to take a while, but <laughs> if I ever do, uh, <laughs> it's probably going to be pretty high, because I love Not a Living Dummy 3. But yeah, I have two copies of those, so that's the first two down for the video. And then I have this. Um, a long time ago, there were a kind of a, I don't want to say a box set, but like a book that has three books in one. And it used to happen all the time. It was called a Monster Edition book. I have a couple of those in this hall, as a matter of fact. Uh, one of the first things that I got into when I had my back injury back in 2018, I started reading Goosebumps again. One of the first books I read was Goosebumps Wanted the Haunted Mask. I fell in love with it all over again. I forgot how great Goosebumps was. But one of my biggest things immediately was trying to buy every book that had Slappy in it. So I went for all the Living Dummy stuff, and I bought the Monster Edition number two, which has Slappy on the cover with the yellow checkered jacket. It's really cool. And when you press the front, the, the eyes actually flash red. It's pretty awesome. Eventually, they re-released that kind of book set, but they didn't call it Monster Edition anymore. This one is just called 
Goosebumps Living Dummy collection, which I think is really cool. Uh, the only hardcover of these I've ever had when I was growing up was the Tales to Give You Goosebumps book hardcover. It was only the first three books that they put in that big collection. I've showed it in previous videos, but this is that same feeling of a hardcover, but it has the first three Not a Living Dummy books in it. So if you ever want just all three books in general to have to go casually reading at the beach or whatnot for the summer, you can always just pick up this. And it's a really nice hardcover, very, very sturdy, very sturdy. It has a very good glue in the spine. You can just tell this thing would hold up really well against heat and whatnot at the beach. But anyway, I really love this. I love how it just has Slappy's eyes and like a crack in the cover. It's fantastic looking. It's so cool. Love that really dark kind of bricky red color to the cover too. Um, <clears throat> moving along though, here as a matter of fact, uh, which this is kind of sad because the spine of the book is so sun-dried. <laughs> you know, like it just took the color out of the thing where it was sitting like a, like a book sale or something. I don't know. But the front cover and the back cover look fantastic of... Goosebumps Monster Edition number one. Yes, that's Curly right there, laying in bed. Laying in bed and reading, what's that book? It's, I guess it's just kind of a random book. It doesn't really say anything on it. But I love that orange and blue cover. Have you ever seen something so 1990s? You don't get like things like that anymore. <laughs> you know, at, at Barnes & Noble or anything. Nobody puts out books like that anymore. But this one, originally, when you opened it up, it was supposed to scream, but... <laughs> The inside box is taken out. It's really hard to find one of these that either had the flashing lights on Monster Edition 2, which is the Not a Living Dummy collection I talked about, or on the first or third books having the scream, the whale is what it's called, when you open up the book. Um, I was really hoping it would have that. It didn't, but I'm not completely heartbroken over it. I'm glad I have a copy of this, just in general for my collection. Um, this book, Monster Edition number 1, includes Stay Out of the Basement, which is a really good book. I read that a long time ago, a couple of times when I was growing up, and it was pretty great. The TV episodes are really good, too. Uh, I have not reviewed that here on the channel because I have not reread that yet, so don't go looking for that if you want me to talk about that anytime soon. Uh, Welcome to Dead House, which is the first ever Goosebumps book. It's a fantastic read. Such a good book. Uh, the third book in here, and the final book, is Say Cheese and Die. So that's pretty cool. That, that's pretty cool. I haven't read Say Cheese and Die, but I've seen the TV episode and I really love that as well. <clears throat> Overall, Monster Edition number one. Really excited to have this. I already owned number two, but behind that, I finally have Monster Edition number three. Now, this book is not as in good of a condition compared to the first two books that I own. Uh, this one's a little bit more rugged and beat up, but it's still pretty cool. Once again, the whale. That scared me. <laughs> So bad just now because I did not do that yesterday when I got it in the mail. This thing is screaming, dude. I it did not do that yesterday. I'm telling you, I got this in the mail and I had it in my box. That I took to work and I opened it and it did not do that yesterday when I was in my car. Do you know how bad that freaked me out just now? <laughs> this looks some haunting in Connecticut type thing. Man, I didn't expect that. But hey, it whales. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, Monster Edition number three. Here's Curly just hanging out reading a very goosebumps looking book in front of a uh, little tombstone with a bulldog and a ghosty ghost back there. Looks like the ghost beach guy. Uh, as a matter of fact, this book includes three different, you know, goosebumps ghost based books. Uh, the Ghost Next Door, which I recently read and reviewed. I really enjoyed that. It was a very good book. I forgot how great that was. And the TV episode was a two parter and it was fantastic too for the most part. I did a review on that as well. Ghost Beach, one of my favorites that everybody seems to hate for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I love the TV episode. I love the book a lot more. The book is really eerie. It's very kind of urban legend-y, kind of like Ghost Camp. If you like that kind of thing, that book is going to be up your alley. I'm telling you, man. Do not listen to people telling you Ghost Beach is bad. Try it. I'm telling you it's good. Um, and the last book in here is called The Barking Ghost, which, of course, is the dog that's a ghost. I've never read The Barking Ghost. I'm really excited to read it at some point. It looks really good. Uh, I own a copy. I own a copy of every single Goosebumps book right now, so I'm really excited to get around to more of the books like that. Right now, you might wonder why I'm just kind of covering just bland, kind of classic books, or at least supposedly bland. I found some pretty good gems here recently. A lot of that uh, review focus is mainly because I would like to get the books that I'm not that excited for out of the way now, so that later on I can pick up books as I'm going further into our adventure into Goosebumps here on the channel, where I can find books that I'm really excited to read later on down the road, and not have to worry so much about reading just crap after crap after crap that I don't really want to read towards the end of the channel, if you want to call it that. The next book, and next to last book that I got, was kind of a, um, 
not really a re-release by any means, but um, kind of a kind of the same idea as the Not a Living Dummy collection I showed you a moment ago. Not the Monster Edition number two, but the one I showed you with the red cover a moment ago. Uh, this one came out around the same time as that and the Scary Stories or excuse me, wrong book series. Uh, the Thirty Tales to Give You Goosebumps book series hardcover thing. Goosebumps the Campfire collection. This is in really good condition too. It's a little bit weary with the spine. It's a little little rickety, rickety, whatever the word is. Uh, this includes Curse of Camp Cold Lake, which I never thought would make it into a hardcover, because that book is is good. The cover is terrifying. I'm a little surprised that's not the cover of this book, but of course they put Welcome to Camp Nightmare. You know, it is what it is. But at least Ghost Camp made it into a hardcover. I love Ghost Camp. One of my favorite books ever. One of my, like, top five, I would say, almost, for the original classic series at this current point of what I've read. I love Ghost Camp, and I love... Uh, a lot of Welcome to Camp Nightmare. That's really good, too, the final book in here. But The Curse of Camp Cold Lake, to me, is not as good as those two, but it is decent. I still I still like that book. I read, I reviewed that here on the channel, too. Uh, I read that book a bunch of times when I was growing up. I had the original version of that, and I've read it over and over and over again. I love that book. It has a lot of really good stuff in it for me nostalgically. Nostalgia... Lee? I don't know. I don't know what the word would be for that. Anyway, the final book I have this week is another one of the hardcovers that came out of that collection set type thing uh, for Night of Living Dummy collection and for the Campfire collection. Goosebumps Monster Blood collection. This collects the first three Monster Blood books in it. I thought from the pictures I saw online, and you probably can kind of see this too, it looks a little dirty, right? Like it looks like a brown color. It's very ugly. It's supposed to look like that for some reason. Even up here where that like Weird, oh no, that, is that supposed to be blue? I don't know why that's blue up there. I don't know if it's supposed to be, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but that brown color is supposed to be like that. It looks real ugly, not gonna lie. Not a good book cover whatsoever for Monster Blood, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. I enjoy the second and third Monster Blood books a lot. I would say two is probably my favorite out of all of them, but the first one, it ain't that good. It's really not. It's probably one of the weakest Goosebumps books ever made. Um, it's not horrible, like completely awful, but it's pretty bad. I mean, it's not, I can see a lot of people not reading more Monster Blood books after reading that one. But, uh, this one is, it is what it is. You know, and I'm thankful all these hardcovers don't have any writing on the inside of them. They might have a folded page every once in a while, maybe one per book. <clears throat> but, uh, nothing too bad. But anyway, that's this week's Goosebumps book haul. I would love to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section down below. Uh, what Do you collect these? Do you collect all these camp collection books or these three book collections, monster editions, whatever you want to call these? Do you collect these? Do you put them in your collection for Goosebumps books? I had kind of put this off until I could find a really good deal on a bundle of either four or just three of them. I did get a bundle of three of them at one time with the Monster Edition 3, the uh, Campfire Collection, and Monster Blood. So I got all those for like 10 bucks, and I was like, I'm not going to pass that up for no shipping handling. You know, I'm going to go for that for 10 bucks. Uh, so I picked up all that last week, and I'm glad I got it in the mail. But uh, I'm running out of stuff to buy for Goosebumps. I'm, I'm kind of going back and buying library editions if I can find them, which are hardcovers. You know, I've been buying a lot of those recently. Um, there's nothing on eBay right now, almost nothing that I actually want to pick up for library editions for Goosebumps. So it's kind of a dry system right now. That's why you're not seeing a whole lot of Goosebumps book haul videos right now, but it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys for being patient with me. Again, with this new Goosebumps TV show announcement, I've had a lot of people come to the channel. There's been a lot of views on that video, just oddly enough, because I don't really get that many views on a video. I mean, that was a pretty hefty video for my channel. I'm pretty surprised by how many people came and subscribed. I'm really thankful for you guys. But, again, I've just not been in a big reading mood. I wanted to get back into reading because that whole announcement inspired me to want to get back into Goosebumps reading and get some more reviews out there for the newer comers. But uh, there's a lot of content here. There's a lot of book reviews already on here. So I hope you guys have something to watch at this current point. But uh, thank you for joining us. I hope you guys are having a blast. I hope that this book haul was some kind of fun for you. I do have a Goosebumps news video coming up next after this video. I'm going to make an upload for Goosebumps Slappy World number 13, the big announcement with that. They finally revealed the story for that. So that's going to be a fun video to make next. But uh, what are your thoughts on this book haul? What are your thoughts on each of these individual books? Put your thoughts and comments down below. And thank you for watching, guys. And may the Lord Jesus Christ... <laughs> Excuse me. I messed up my Lord and Savior's name. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you guys today. There we go. And goodbye.